Hello guys and welcome back to part number 12 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Back To Work or Get To Work, whatever, close enough. I just wanted to go ahead and say thank you so much for your love and all the views on this LP. This is definitely quickly becoming one of my favorite LPs. Um, I am literally living for this. I love playing it. It is so much fun and I'm really, really, really digging that you guys are getting into the storyline as well. And um and giving your, me your feedback and all of that jazz. It really does mean a lot to me to see you guys so intrigued. And I know some of you may not understand how I play. Um, I play with storylines. I really like to submerse myself into getting into the characters and getting into um, their story. I don't like to just play for the heck of it. I like to really submerse myself in, into the content. And for some of you, that may be ultra confusing, but um, for a lot of you, you pretty much already understand all that so I just wanted to say thank you again and remember your feedback and um you know a creative or creative creative constructive criticism and creative is always a welcome so I just kind of wanted to throw that out there thank you guys so much for the support I am absolutely uh, I'm loving that you and I are you and I you and I are um you know, kind of kind of vibing off each other right now. So some of you thought that Stella moving in was going to be a little too soon. Um, I could agree. I could agree. We could definitely play the field on that one. Just so you know, um, our boo here, he... What the hell is he doing? He's supposed to be talking to the chief. All right. Well, why isn't this working? You are the chief, right, miss? Okay, so let me go and find out if I can. All right, forget it. I'm not going to even sit here and bust bust my nalgitas over it. Um, but I am going to go and uh, come over here and analyze some evidence. Maybe uh, my game is glitching on me. I'm not exactly sure. But if we go and analyze some evidence, do the little cotton swab situation, um, it should maybe work out we're gonna stay late today um just don't feel like ace's concentration is where it should be i mean just like in real life right sometimes you get a little distracted with the hottie toddy or the you know whatever sitting across the hall i mean i don't know what's gonna happen here but remember he did woohoo with christine and i mean it would be a shame if he continued that and something happened. You know what I mean? Like, he is trying to move on, but sometimes he's stuck in 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 reverse. I think. And uh, yeah, she's she's just one 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 big babe. I love her. Um, that's Stella, by the way. If you guys didn't know yet, that is Stella Galaxy. I can imagine she probably won't last on the the force very long. All right, so we went ahead and started our new crime map, um, and we're going to go add some clues. That way we can go and, uh, oh, <laughs> so some of our clues, uh, clues, no, wait, try again. No, not ready yet. Now we are. Okay, so some of our clues include a porcelain pig, a golden tea set, a bronzed swan bird thing, and a pooch. Yes, a pooch. So I'm not exactly sure. And then it came out the window, maybe. The, the I don't know. I don't understand what we're doing yet. But we are going to go. Oh, we got a computer. We're going to go ahead and actually um, cross-reference the police database by typing in some of our witness reports here. And again, sitting behind Stella Galaxy. I don't know what the hell she's doing. I think she'd be looking up YouTube, but she don't look like she's working. I'm just saying. <laughs> she's twerking for a bargain. Um... But yeah, I don't know. The whole Christine thing, I don't think he's going to get back with her. A lot of you are like, you know, don't don't get don't go back with her. That would be, you know, a little kind of like defeating the purpose slash redundant. And again, I don't know what Ace's deal is. He is just trying to move on and concentrate on his job, too, and the store, which brings me to my next topic. You guys were like, Jen, if you close the store down, I will literally come to the computer screen and beat Jokolito turn till it turns red, girl. Don't do it. I can wait, issue an ABT. Um, uh, what? Okay, use the crime map to the more clues you had before. Okay, we no, no, we're not ready yet. This is way too soon. Um, well, wait, let's go see what our, let's go check our notebook. All right, we're going to go steal this computer before this lady does. Uh, let's go check our notebook and see what clues we have thus far. Um, but bottom line, you guys do not, female and she's creative. Female creative. Yeah, we don't have enough clues yet. Um, 
you guys don't want me to close down the store and you guys are like Jen I think you're more patient than I am and I appreciate that so much because mainly the thing is is like I expect instant gratification and I don't want to bore you guys with the upbuild of our store which I may do off cam a little bit here and there but um I'm not gonna basically I'm not gonna your computer's broken, miss. I'm not going to give up the um, the store quite yet. And I think I'm going to call it like Culver's Cove or something like that. It's just going to be um, a family store right now. And then obviously it's going to be something for Nyla to aspire to. I definitely feel like we opened um, up the store a little too soon, kind of in a way. But I feel like we'll get there and we'll just work on it. It's going to be kind of... Not our main priority right now, but it's definitely going to be something that we'll be able to work on from time to time, which I think is pretty, pretty fun. Gives us something to look forward to. Oh, he's so hungry. All right, so let's go analyze some more evidence. We are staying at work to uh, really, really late. We're staying really late at work today, um, which is fine. I guess we could. I don't know if we get paid extra or whatever, but that would be cool if we did. Um, all right, so unfortunately, this piece of uh evidence failed to issue any sort of um any sort of results but pretty much we're off work so i'm gonna see how many minutes we have we have an hour i'm gonna let him go ahead and buy a snack he's gonna buy um a sandwich which is really 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 going to help him feel a lot better because his mood is like seriously not doing too good right now he's feeling very un comfortable which I can understand you haven't eaten all day dude all right <laughs> he's on the skinny man diet he's on that you know poor broke man's diet pretty much and uh, I don't know what Nyla's doing she should be I just totally whistled through my teeth she should be working on her homework I wish there was like a little thing that we could have her do that but oh well I think he's gonna be just about finished with that sandwich which I wish you would give me a freaking slice because it tastes it looks like it tastes so damn good but uh he's just about to get off work we did really 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 good today um we earned oh my goodness we actually earned 445 dollars can you believe it no you can't I can't either I know <laughs> hell yeah hell freaking yeah damn right I'm excited Okay, $500 in the bank, in our pockets. What are we going to go spend it on, guys? Booze and babes. Booze and babes. Babes and boobs. Whoa, no, booze, not boobs. <laughs> I don't think you could afford a boob job for that age. Sorry. Okay, so we're still we're still here. And Nyla's like sitting in the damn dark. We are, what? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's because our power got shut off. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go pay the bills. Actually, instead of babes and booze, we are going to go spend it on paying our dues. Um, I was thinking maybe we could invite Stella for dinner tonight. Um, I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, Nyla will get to meet her. <laughs> but of course, Nyla's a little passive aggressive these days. So I don't really know how that's going to play out. But uh, let's go and figure it out. So I think we are going to invite her over for a little din din. Um, it's going to be a dinner party. No, it's not going to be a dinner party. It's just literally going to be her coming over. And that's about all. Where is she? We, we may not be able to invite her. Actually, no. She gets off at... Um, she gets off at, I think, I want to say 9 o'clock. Wait, no, 5. So why can't I invite you over, girl? What's going on? Invite? Okay, am I, like, not seeing her? You guys don't see her either. Why can't I invite her over? That is kind of weird. Maybe we just don't know her a little bit. It's a little too much. It's fine. It's probably better off that we spend some time with our damn daughter anyways. <sighs> that kind of sucks. I was hoping... She would be able to come over, but okay, that's totally fine. She probably doesn't want to get caught on fire. So Nyla, is she hungry at all? No, she's kind of sleepy. Um, I'll let her take a quick nap here on the couch while dad makes something uh, to eat. We do need to change Nicholas's outfit. Um, one thing that Nyla wants to do, which will be kind of interesting, is uh, let's have some fish tacos. Um, is actually be friends with Nicholas's dad. So if you don't know who Nicholas is, he is this guy right here. Believe it or not, he's a teen. Um, Nicholas Yashimoto. Um, he is one of her friends that she's known for a while now, and she might be interested in. She doesn't really know yet. Um, he just, like, aged uh, yesterday in the last part. So I'm going to have her go ahead and, like, Send a couple text messages. I'm going to assume Stella is working. I don't think her shift is correct because I'm pretty positive she's still at work and she works till 9. 
Now, if I was to go ahead and invite her over, I don't know if it would work now, but I'm just going to spend some time with my daughter. I think that's the most important thing. Uh, she should have homework, but we've got all these little goodies and things that we can sell. We've got some onions. Uh, we can go ahead and put the onions in the fridge. And then that way that will hopefully... Oh, he's so cute. He's like walking over with his fish taco, but he's really got to drop a deuce. Um, all right, so let's let him go in the bathroom here and do that really quick. Uh, we got some huevos that we can use or sell uh, in our store as well. But uh, we're not going to worry about it too much. We're going to probably go later on we could probably start getting up really early even he's on level three of the detective career and he's about to get a promotion so i mean i mean yeah we're in 12 parts in and he's already in like level four to me personally i think that's pretty good <laughs> usually in my lps my sims never get that far in any sort of career so i think we're doing pretty good that's just my two cents in the whole ordeal. So Nyla's going to talk to her dad and and, and uh, give him a heartfelt compliment and, and, and express her admiration and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then I think what we're going to do is after Ace is done eating, we're going to kind of speed through here a little bit. And you know the drill. I'll see you in the morning. Nyla's up and she's going to go ahead and have some uh, fish tacos. That's going to be absolutely delicious. First thing in the morning, having some fish tacos. Yum. Your breath is probably going to smell like some onions. Uh, for her school, she's actually a C student. Um, for her skills and things of that sort that we could probably level up. She needs to get... Um, she needs to get one skill to level two which she's already done so actually she should be doing fairly um better in school actually she wants to travel to the library make an enemy and becomes friends with um Karu, which i don't know how to say his name but anyways our boo skins is up and we're gonna go and have him kind of uh, do an energized jog this morning keep himself fit he also wants to spend a little bit of time with his daughter of course so hopefully uh with work just starting here in about three hours we'll be able to get that jog in i was hoping we could go to the store for a little bit and things of that sort but again it's just the store is like um, a hobby it's not something we're really invested in quite yet but we'll get there i'm sure if there's a little more cash and things of that sort so obviously when he's jogging and he sees different things he should probably go ahead and dig those up as well um <laughs> and this looks like ollie and i love his name blaze blaze bauer um but yeah we should just collect a whole bunch of these little doodads and stuff so we can stock them up i don't know if it's possible to run the store a while we are technically like not there you know like we can make money maybe while we're not there i don't know if that's a possibility but ace is gonna go and i think i missed one uh get these guys over here real quick too and he is going to start working about two hours probably go to the store actually really 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 fast mm, starts at 48 minutes let's just not do that he's gonna give christine a little bit of a chat here all right talking about vacuums of course Okay, I don't know what's she wants to talk to us. It's kind of important, huh? Okay, meet for dinner tonight. Six thirty. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna want to sit down for this. Oh Jesus! Last time you told me that you were. Oh gosh. All right. No, I'm calm. Tits are calm. Calm in those tits. Well, here we go for another second prison term. Yeah, buddy. Oh man, I'm, I'm in deep poo poo. Well, it's the life of Ace. Ace of base. All right. <laughs> I totally was talking to myself right there. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, what are you doing, boo-boo? He's going to go dance now. You ain't going to dance when she comes over right now. I don't know what she really wants to come over. But he will have her come over um, in a little bit. But we're going to have him also kind of speed on through here and go to work. So let's go ahead and join. Now I don't know if we'll have her over for dinner in this part or I'll leave it a cliffhanger. I think Christine has some very important news to tell Ace, and I hope it's something good. Um, it could be anything. It could be that she wants Nyla back. <laughs> it could be that, you know, she's seeing somebody. It could be, you know, maybe she needs some financial help and she needs to move in. I, I really can imagine 
what it could possibly be, but we're at work right now and what we need to do is focus in on work. Okay, well, the first thing we're going to do is probably uh, go and analyze just a little piece of evidence. We have one evidence sample left. We're going to probably have to go to another crime scene, I would imagine, because we're running out of evidence to run, uh, which kind of sucks. So we need to figure out more things. We only know two details about the perpetrator or the suspect. And I'm not confident in arresting somebody if the only thing that I know about them is that they are female. Oh, okay, they're female. And they are um, creative. See, I don't, I don't, that doesn't do anything to, for me. So let's go and add, uh, let's go and add the clues to the board. And then I think we're going to go see if there's any crime scenes that we can go to and collect more evidence since we are literally fresh out. Oh, okay. So the suspect's a teen. Wouldn't that be some ish if that was like Nyla's friend or something like that? That would be very, 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 very funny. Uh, I think we could go, we could go on patrol, um, travel to crime scene. Let's go travel to a crime scene real fast. Uh, chat with Krista. No, thank you. <laughs> Just going to keep on moving. Thanks, Krista, but not interested. All right. <laughs> Unless you got donuts and coffee, we ain't talking. Uh, but let's go head over. Um, we'll see what kind of crime scene it is. And, oh, I think I can actually install bakeries now, but they don't work for some reason. Like they're not baked or stocked or whatever. That kind of sucks, but, uh, Okay, so we are here. Holy crap, a moly. Um, this is a freaking big, nice, jumbo-sized house. Who are you, boo-boo? Because -boo? I would love to get to know you a little bit. Oh, my gosh, we have some outlines of some people. What did you do? Did you beat your husband? Uh, you probably did, and now you're collecting his funds. Oh, and this TV is busted. <gasps> oh, we are going to go ahead and dust for some fingerprints and collect some pictures. This TV, look at that big old TV. Somebody threw the remote right through it. This is just a shame. Yep, dust it. Dust it for some fingerprints. Take a picture. Mm -hmm. Just don't, just bend a little bit lower, okay? <laughs> he is so cute. Okay, take more pictures. Not interested. But I guess we have to. Um, we've got a whole bunch of like freaking clues and evidence. I don't know, guys, but I think this could possibly set or um, this could possibly um, be it for the for the clues and all the stuff that we need. Hang on a second. Okay, sorry about that. The husband was calling and he wants me to go pick him up from work. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So let's see what else we got. We need to get a witness report or whatever the heck. Okay. Those are very important because these little people's here. Why are the same Sims always in like, <gasps> you want to get with my wifey? What are you doing with her? Hmm. Or my daughter, or my wifey. Uh, no, we don't go that. We don't, we don't, we don't do all that. But anyways, um, these little witness reports will hopefully help. Okay, so if there's anything else, there's a lot of broken stuff here. Let's take a couple more pictures. Let's go, and then we'll go ahead back to the uh, to the uh, the station because I feel like we've got just about enough and all that we need. We got so much good stuff, you guys, to take back with us and, and run and analyze, and that will really help figure this case out. I feel like that we'll figure out this case a lot faster than the previous one. Um, just simply because uh jennifer's getting a little more seasoned okay um so we've got she's a teen she's creative that still doesn't help me and it's a female so i mean that's kind of cool uh let's go and hop in here and analyze the evidence since that's at the top i've noticed um i thought we took way more than that um i noticed the ones at the top are usually worth a little bit more or they're the ones that are like most important to focus on um, the ones near the top you end up getting a little more boost from um what are they doing what are they doing taking selfies at work Jeez, post that on facebook why don't you supposed to be out there saving okay saving local sims and you're over here like facebooking it up whatever uh we got a couple more pieces obviously to run so let's go run this evidence sample here uh, I do believe we just earned another clue, too, so we can go and add that to the board. Hopefully, this other piece here will yield some some um, results. Uh, he's doing pretty damn good, though. I mean, I must say, like, we just started this um, new case, I want to say, yesterday-ish, right? Yesterday-ish. So, for us to be already, like, 
piecing this together and he might actually end up getting a per oh she has red hair she's a teen she's creative she has red hair uh we've got another piece um okay i'm so excited oh my goodness we could like literally go oh she's wearing a tank top um okay so she's a teen red hair creative uh we could probably i mean if we want to keep going with this we could probably do that but i i really kind of feel like we're getting so close to um, figuring out who this is. Like, we could probably issue in an ABT. Uh, it's it's going to be an a a P a P B a P B. I I'll never call it the right name. Just 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 let, just go with it, okay? <laughs> I always mess it up. I would call it A P T or A B D. It's, there's no T in the damn like what is that? I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just Jen is it's Jen is what it is. Oh my gosh! I just knocked my headband off. All right, yeah, we got. I gotta go. I gotta go get him. He's gonna kick my butt if I'm not there. And like, I told him nine fifteen. It's already nine o'clock, girl. I'm slacking. Um, but yeah, no. I mean, what was I saying? Yeah, no. I mean, I think we could. Okay, so we got it. We got it. Female tanks up. Creative. Obviously, she's a criminal. She's gotta have some sort of smarts. All right, so uh, arrest the suspect. Arrest the suspect. All right, I think we do have just about enough. I see. Oh, that's not her. Um. I see a uh, tank top red hair Robin. Ah! I mean, we can't even ask questions. We just got to arrest whoever. Okay. Um, I could ask, but it's kind of very obvious that it is most likely that Robin chick right here. I just don't feel like that looks like a tank top. Though. I mean, it is, but I'm going to go ahead and arrest her. Just do it. Um, if I'm wrong... <gasps> If I'm wrong, it could cost me my life. Um, if I'm wrong, that's going to suck really bad. But this is the library, by the way. That's really nice. We need to, like, come here one day. Um, but are they? Are you guys drag racing? Oh, my goodness. Who's going to win? <laughs> like, same car and everything. I don't know. All right. So let's go ahead and arrest Mrs. Robin. Robin, you are under arrest. All right. You must be creative with those eyelashes or that makeup that you got going on there. Very creative. Don't want to hear it. Let's go. All right, so we cuffed her, and we're going to go. We're going to go back to the station. That's where you're going to go, Robin. Hate to tell you, but you tanked up. It was a dead giveaway that you were involved with this crime. Smashing things. What is wrong with you, Robin? Didn't your mommy raise you right? Um, but yeah, pretty much in a nutshell, I think we got her. I think we got her. So, I mean, the interrogation is probably the next thing that's going to be taking place here. She stink. I stink. I stink. Well, of course I stink. I've been freaking chasing your butt all over town. Uh, I am going to go ahead and interrogate her instantly and try to get this going. We'll probably focus more. Oh, I'm itching my eyeball right now. Oh, the joys of having nails. You have no idea how good that goes. Um, what am I doing? Why are you stomping your feet? Get over it. This ain't my fault. You decided to do this, not me. I mean, really, like, <laughs> I'm just curious. Like, what in the world are you doing with your life? <gasps> All right. Um. Did you just turn on the TV? Like, what are we, like, in? Okay. All right. This is the one-way mirror, I think. Um, okay. So, in we got to interrogate the suspect. We only have a little bit of time. Obviously, we're going to play... Let's play the crazy cop. Oh, my goodness, Ace. With your stinky pits and your upset face. Oh, you're throwing the paperwork. Look at this. You must crack. She. Oh, she appears friendly. Oh, well, she is just going to crack it. Uh, we are going to review or show crime pictures. Yeah, that's right. Look at that. Describe or dangle. Ask for bribe. Ask for stressful riddles. Um, threaten with tickle torture. Threaten with spiders. Oh, that would make me crack. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Why are you pointing your finger? <gasps> I mean, if I was in this room, I would probably I would probably be laughing my butt off. Like, I'm so serious. I'm going to describe the prison horrors. She is pretty friendly. I wonder if different like criminals with different traits are harder to crack than others. She's really, really, really close to cracking, but we, like, literally have an hour left to make it happen. Um, I'm going to glare at her coldly. That one didn't seem to have any sort of effect. Uh, okay, we're going to tell her a story about prison as well. <laughs> Pretty sure you're doing a lot more than just staring at her. Ah, he's so cute. I just, I can't. Oh, my God. She seems to be getting freaked out. So let's, uh, let's look at her face. All right, so she actually did um, 
did end up uh, appearing to be guilty. What are you looking? They, they ain't nobody out there gonna help you. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and and get this confession here. Hopefully, we have. Oh my God, we have 42 minutes left. We need to get this confession before we're off work, and then I'm gonna go ahead and book her. That was so fast. We like seriously got that. Um, we got that. Uh, we got that that suspect under arrest really, really quickly, actually. So I'm going to go and put her in the cell really quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually wrap up this part right here. So there Ace goes. He's putting in Mrs. Robin Jarrell into the cell. <laughs> and it says, case closed. Nice work. That is one more criminal off the streets. Unfortunately, crime never sleeps. And we'll have another case waiting for you. Get the the assignment from the computer and get back there awesome so i'm pretty positive we're gonna be on level four <laughs> level four or yeah right level four of the um detective career so i think ace did really really good today he's gonna go ahead and wrap up this day here all right so we've been promoted to detective he will be making 14 additional dollars an hour and he unlocked the following i also got a 304 dollar bonus plus his and i think plus his 445 i'm pretty sure so he made some pretty damn decent money today. He got promoted. I think this is really Ace's niche. Now, remember, Ace used to be a former bad boy. So he saw a lot of what he used to be in Robin's eyes, actually. He used to always get in trouble. And so he took it He took it extra hard and was a little harder on her than he needed to be. I mean, her being a teen and all that, he probably didn't need to go so hard on her. But again, he has a daughter and he knows what it's like. And, you know, he's trying to hopefully scare the heebie-jeebies out of her so that um, he can go ahead and kind of change up her her world a little bit, maybe get her off of of being in that life of crime. Because he again, he was he was a little teen, a uh, little teen um, dirtbag, I guess you could say. So, um, anyways, guys, I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this part right here. Remember, we're gonna go ahead and invite Christine, and again, she has some big news. This news is going to change the whole entire. Um, stature of this LP as we know it and if you guys have any ideas of what that could possibly be go ahead and let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are so again guys don't forget to go ahead and comment rate and subscribe let me know what you all think um, in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine and I will see you all <laughs> next time bye guys what was that bye guys <laughs>